Marines win wars. Special Operations Command have never won a war. What did you just say? I said that was technically true, that the Navy is more powerful than the Marine Corps. When an expeditionary unit, when a MUSOC goes out and deploys, and they're out there with their four ships and all their recruitments, um, an aircraft carrier has more firepower than a Marine expeditionary unit. But the Marine expeditionary unit's never out there with just four ships. It's not just that, right? Well, they're a, with a carrier a, group, right? No, a MU operates. A MU operates on its own. Carrier groups operate on their own. But a carrier group has more firepower. So it is true that the Navy has more to bring to the table. But the thing that the Marine Corps can do that the Navy can't, that is occupy land space. So the Navy doesn't have the capability to put boots on the ground. Yeah, I know. They got Navy SEALs. But Navy SEALs can't hold a street corner. They're, they're, spe they're specifically designed for shock and awe, meaning I'm going to go blow that house up and then go back and have stakes on the carrier an hour later. Marines stand on street corners. Marines win wars. Special Operations Command have never won a war. Did you see that we have a carrier group that just went in fucking through the Strait of the Black Sea or whatever this yeah, morning? Whatever. It's just, it's just, it's the Biden administration trying to get us in a fucking war. Their their whole goal is to get us in a war before the elections. That's all it is. They're just trying to get some fucking country. Like, you know, they're making a big deal. <laughs> they're making a big deal about. Iran came out and said, if you don't, if America does not force a ceasefire with uh, Israel and the Palestinians, there is going to be severe ramifications for the United States, right? That is such fucking CIA propaganda. The, is, the goddamn Iranians do not have the capability to give us harsh, they don't have the capability. What are they going to do? Uh, even when people are like, oh my God, the... There's fucking Hezbollah in the United States already secretly hiding in New York City. The ramifications, remember, you had terrorists attack us on 9-11. Those countries don't exist as countries anymore. Well, hold on. They don't exist as who, countries who anymore. Who is they had terrorists? What do you mean? You mean the CIA had terrorists attack no. us on 9-11. Okay, hold on. The CIA doesn't have that capability. Hold on. Because, because in the same... In the same fucking realm there, where they don't have the power, what's what are they going to do? To the United States, um, your CIA mockingbird MK Ultra Media, right, mm -hmm. has told us this week that uh, a water plant, a municipal water plant in Pennsylvania, uh, was cyber attacked, and uh, they were about to poison all of these citizens, right? And it's coming from the Middle East. The cyber attacks. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of don't get me wrong. There's a lot of shadiness going on in our current government. Uh, yeah, but, but even when I say, what I'm saying is, Iran doesn't have the capability. Iran doesn't have the capability or structure to do anything to the fucking United States. I'm with you. Especially, you know, when you're talking about real warfare, a carrier group going over there. That's just this fucking Department of Defense trying to get Iran to like, what are they going to do? Send a speedboat out? <laughs> fire a missile and then what happens but Jeff, then we, can, the, then we the, can go but the houthis the houthis then we can be like the houthis fired a ballistic missile which is crazy yeah who gave it to them where'd they get the ballistic yeah missile? yeah i see yeah where, who, where, who gave them who who actually uh, fired it? i mean that's it's like uh when you and the, the 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 crazy part about that when you say the houthis fired a ballistic missile Come on, they're called the houthis and the blowfish um but when you say that they fired a ballistic missile that is, th that's right up there. I mean, don't, the, hear me out when I say this. That's right up there if they came out and said, um, the Crips fired a ballistic missile on Tuesday. How the fuck did the Houthis fire a ballistic missile? It's just bull, it's fucking bullshit. But, or what are they calling a ballistic missile, right? You keep well, hearing you, rockets. Is it a PVC pipe with a potato launcher? No, it, the big difference, the big difference is, me and you could make a rocket. Well, I mean, technically we probably could do a ballistic missile. A ballistic missile has to enter. Would we control it with space. a PS3 controller? Um, maybe. Do you have to see it <laughs> to fucking maybe. control it? No, in? no, it's it, that's no, all. I know. Yeah, man. that's all different guidance systems. But General Dynamics gave a bunch of um, stuff to my high school. Uh -huh. I don't know, fifty years ago, forty years ago, right? And uh, there was this big 
to do about it. They gave us guidance systems for Tomahawk cruise missiles. They were coming out of General Dynamics. These parts all came from right. General Dynamics. And I didn't see anything that looked like a rocket. And I didn't actually see the FBI guys show up, but there, apparently some FBI people showed up at the high school and wanted to see these things. And then they took a bunch of the stuff that was given to the high school. So I gave, I guess it's not unfathomable that something is... No, no, it, it wouldn't be unfathomable for some shithole country, you know, over there to have a Russian... Um, a Russian system that could fire a ballistic missile, right? That wouldn't be in fact, because, you know, most of Russia's uh, nuclear arsenal is on trucks. And that's the biggest problem for us is we put all our stuff in hardened bunkers and you know exactly where our shit is. Where Russia put all their stuff on trucks and they just keep driving it around. So we have to find that stuff. It's kind of like when they were doing the scud hunt, you know, scud hunters and in the first Gulf War. We have to find that. But those trucks with the nuclear weapons on them can also fire conventional missiles, but they're still ballistic, meaning they're going up into or orbit right. and coming down that way. So it wouldn't be – could they could it, could there be one in Yemen just cruising around? Yes. But operationally-wise, there's not going to be anybody there fucking trained to use the equipment. How to fucking set the thing up. It's just – it's more likely that there were – Outside agitators, whether that be uh, the CIA or the KGB, um, that was there and was like, hey, you know it would be really cool if we could fire this missile at Israel? You're talking about people that don't have clean water. Right. That's what I'm saying. They haven't it, figured it, out how to make shoes. It's not, uh, it's not likely that the, that the Houthi rebels came out of the fucking sticks and fired a ballistic missile. Not probably likely. Um, look, hold on. What episode is this? Oh, did we start already? What? I didn't know we were recording all that. Pulling Thread Podcast, episode 51. <laughs> we always get the best shit when he thinks we're not recording. Uh, Hooties. Sorry, Hooties. If you have one more missile, please don't shoot it at Tennessee. We don't have an Iron Dome. Okay, so did you hear about the, the hostage exchange? Yeah, where the, is, it's, it's where the Israelis got women and children, and in return they sent Known criminal, Known fucking, fucking terrorists. Terrorists. Yeah, terrorists. That, that's the way all those hostage exchange always yeah, work, though. But you keep hearing hostage exchange, and you think that we just exchange combatants. No. Yeah. We we actually gave them back a person that had fucking, like, melted their body in a bombing incident. Yeah. A, 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 a fucking bomber vest person yeah. ignites a fucking bomb catches on fire the israelis saved the person's life and now have them in prison and they gave that motherfucker back what did they uh return they returned a four-year-old child right one of the people that was given back to the israelis apparently was a four-year-old child mother and father laid on top of the kid and were killed by the terrorists and then the baby crawls out and they abduct the child that's that's what that's the kind of returns that we're talking about yeah. Yeah, it's not a it's not a it's not a fair return, but again, when you're when you're the one with your when you're the one with your back against the wall, meaning uh, you know, if if you think about that kind of exchange and the bad guys are holding up a 4-year-old and they and they want, you know, they want said douchebags released out of prison. Right. It's hard to say it's hard to go no, fuck you. We're going to keep the well, douchebags like you, uh, you can have the four-year-old. It's you, like our Brittany Griner uh, exchange. No, no, no. For the go, for the no. Lord of War. We gave them the Lord of War. No, no, no. We they, got... Fucking we, Brittany Griner should still be in the Soviet Union. He. Oh, we're going to get yeah. demonetized for yeah. that for sure. Still should be in the Soviet Union. Fuck that. But that was for us. Yeah. What most people don't realize is old fucking uh, gun smuggler... That was for us. He's doing business for the U.S. government right now. Because I don't know if you saw the interview. They interviewed him right after. They interviewed him right after he was released, and that's all the motherfucker talked about was yeah, America, 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 America. So yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I am sure that Uncle Sam was like, bro. Okay, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna let you go, and if you go to um, this undisclosed port over on the coast of Argentina. There's going to be a container ship full of these fucking M16s that we're not using anymore. 
full of this cruise yeah. missile. We need, yeah, we need we need this uh, ballistic missile to get to the Houthis in time to shoot at the Israelis, so they can fire up the Iron Dome, and everybody will think it's it's kosher. We got a little payback yeah. to give them because they they shot at one sure. of our ships a few years ago. Those Israelis. I am sure that when they released that guy from jail, they gave him a suitcase and it was full of money. Do you think they like? give them some virus and you have to come in every six months and we give you the vaccination. No, no. It, you're, you know, when you think about a guy like that, he's so high on the radar that you don't have to, right? You don't, you, you've already proven that you can get, get to him. And now he's older, he's tired. It'd be easy. You don't have, you don't have to do that. You just, every now and then somebody bumps into him and goes, it'd be really great if you sold some guns to the fucking Kenya militia. And then he's just like, Gotcha. I'm going to do your militia. That. Sounds great. Sounds great. We're going to do that. So, yeah, I don't think so. And did, then, you see, did you see your boy was over in uh, Israel yesterday? Who? Uh, Elon Musk. Was he? Elon's on a, you know, Elon, he, he's been having a, a bad day. Tell me about it. He, well, he his wife, his he lost $40 million. What? Yeah. Elon's, Tell, he's Elon's, getting divorced? I I don't know. What do you? Know. What is going on? It's some. I saw Trouble in Paradise. Hmm. Forty million dollars. Yeah, forty million dollars is a lot, but like it, he eats that for lunch. But still, he's uh, that's what it, that's what it costs every time he has to put the new grinders on the fucking boring machine. I maybe mean, 40, 40 maybe. million dollars ain't shit. Maybe. Um, do you see his plate carrier had on? No, I think he had like an extra small. They had it up under his neck and shit. Well, you can't expect Elon Musk to. Elon Musk isn't the person you have to fucking blame is his handler, whoever his yes. whoever his handler yes. is. You got to be like, dude. You don't know what you're doing. And that's the problem. When you're the problem is when you are on top like that, like when you are when you are Elon at Elon Musk's level, you bring people around you that But he creates space lasers. Surely he knows. You 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 bring people around you who you think are going to be, you know, the thing you need, and then when you need the thing, they're like, Yeah, just put this on and and it's just like the Air Force. It's just like the Air Force general that did that fucking picture, and his fucking ribbons were all upside down, and he did the whole song and dance about responsibility, and it's my fault. But he opens it up with there's a there's a fucking aide that put those ribbons on my uniform backwards or upside down. Um, you know, you got to have the right people, and he doesn't have Elon. You don't have the right tactical people. Like Remember, every time, every time. Tactical people. But every time you had a sniper rifle and you're putting your shit on, you know, and you got your ghillie on, yeah. did you not look at a mirror before you went out? Like, you're like, I look good. Well, I mean. Because you know Phil Cheney did. We only, that's, yeah, Phil, Phil, I think Phil carried, I think Phil had one of those fold, no, it folded mm -hmm. out to where it was full length so he could get like a full a sun, body. So he could suntan. So full body. Um, all I had was the little bullshit mirror that was in the camouflage face yeah. paint. But you still looked at yourself. Still looked, yeah. You don't think that general looked at himself? He's like, I look good. No, I know he did. I know he walked in front of the mirror. He fixed his tie and shit. But again, a, a general don't know what the fuck he's wearing. I mean, he. the reality is you didn't earn half that shit anyways. Did you see uh, Hezbollah or whoever fucking invited Elon Musk to come over to their side and see what's going on? Take a tour with us. Yeah, you know what? It would have been ball. You know what? Trump would have you, you Trump, went. Trump would have went. I uh, know Trump would have went. Trump would have went. Not only did Trump would have went, but he wouldn't even have body armor. He'd have just been like, "Let's go, guys." And just walked over there. He would just told him, "Hey, we're coming." He wouldn't have mm -hmm. snuck in on a train. Yeah. So Elon, you should have you should have went. What What's the fucking worst thing? I'm not saying Elon snuck in the train. I'm talking about fucking right. Grandpa. Yeah. Grandpa. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck this. Joe Biden. He's a turd. He wants a hundred and five million. He wants a hundred and five billion dollars for Israel and our boy over there in fucking what will soon be <laughs> Eastern Russia. It probably already is. Uh, he wants a, he wants more money. It again. What do you Israel think? does not need a dime. They don't need a dime. I don't understand they need why us, America they need us out of the fucking way. Why America is so stupid that we think that we need to give I mean even if it was a million dollars. Israel doesn't need it. They don't need Have it. Have you seen all the protest all the Palestine bullshit the protests going yeah, no, on in New York and everything? And none of those hey none of those people who none of those people have been arrested. None of those people are Palestine either. None of those people are sitting in jail right now because they attacked the White House. I like all the trannies for Palestine. I mean, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. They, yeah. If they're that stupid. Head on over to Palestine. You should go on vacation over there. 
if they're that stupid. I mean, again, it's a that's one of those that's one of those weird that's kind of one of those weird dynamics. Only if you get caught. Yeah, it's one of those weird dynamics because even in Saudi Arabia, there are trannies. Prostitution's illegal in Saudi Arabia. Yes, and you can still get prostitutes in Saudi. I mean, that's the number one Eastern Europe Eastern European females. That's the number one import over there. Is color are they? What color are they? They're white girls. Mm. White girls. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's some Filipinos too, and uh, but you can. That's the, you know, you know, a super dangerous job. What's that? Filipino housekeeper. I thought it was Filipino. I thought it was actually Filipino nurse. Well, the housekeepers are the ones that get eaten by the tigers and lions. I don't. Do they really get eaten no, by oh the yeah. tigers? Oh yeah, and they get mauled in, in or Dubai. Or do they get fed? No. Well, no, they get they get mauled and then they just have to pay the families. Have you seen that? Uh, have you seen that video? That uh, I don't. I don't know where she's from. It's Middle East somewhere. But the, the girl with the tiger, she's holding the tiger and walking down the street with the tiger. And the tiger's like, Rrr. like, <laughs> like she's smaller. No, it's like, it's like she, it's like she was tasked with take the tiger out to go pee. Well, and, that's what happens. Yeah. <laughs> and she's holding this thing. It's, it's pretty funny. So I watched a, a video this morning. As a matter of fact, this, this dude, he look, he's probably South African or something. And there's a, a pin. He's kind of getting ready and you don't really see what's in the pin yet. And then he opens the door and a fucking lioness jump uh, dude it, it's fucking eight feet high jumps pounces him like and you're like oh shit he's getting eaten and then she just starts licking him she's so happy to see him that he had to like steady himself because yeah. he knew what was coming when he opened that fucking door the problem the problem with a cat like that is there's even not a, there's not a problem there's only human problems no, no because even a cat like that even if it's i mean think about it you have cats yeah right? yeah and think about how those cats play. Mm-hmm. And now think about a lion. Oh, yeah. You it, can see it. You it, can see it. it. I, the lion, all the lion has to do is go boop, and you're like, oh, shit. There's a broke my jaw. There's a video, and they're in a room. They're in, like, an entertainment center room or something, and they've got couches all around in a U-shape. And they order it's some it's some some brothers, you know, they, like a basketball team or something. Some They obviously have money. I mean, they got a fucking tiger in there. Oh, I eating think pizza? Two, yeah, eating pizza. Eat pizza. And then the fucking tiger, like, wants the pizza and just, like, just reaches and knocks the dude across the room. Yeah, don't. That fuck. wasn't even claws. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the problem with, the, with a big cat is. When cats scratch their claws, you know, yeah. when they're scratching, I didn't realize this because I never lived with cats. Like, I had cats, but I never paid attention to cats. And we have, you know, mice in the building. Right. And I watched this cat literally go, and you, I swear you could hear it going, and the claws come out. They can actually deploy the claws or not deploy the claws. And I never realized, I always thought a mouse just like catches a mouse and then uses its canine teeth. No, these fucking cats extend the claw and pierce the mouse. They like pick it up and then they release it and the mouse runs and then they pierce it again so yeah. it's like getting hit with fucking four hypodermic needles that deploy like a half yeah. inch long and the mice if you watch like they catch these mice and they just torture them and torture yeah. them and torture them and then they then they seemingly eat only half of the mouse they'll eat half the mouse well cats kill for pleasure yes they say they say that i think i heard it from you and then i've seen it several other times if you put a tracker on a cat a cat actually moves 21 miles yeah a 21 night. miles a night hunts outside. and then brings home fucking right. prey hunts and brings home to show you that he is a better yeah. hunter than you are um yeah but cats will that's the you know when you have people like we need more solar and wind, and we're going to try and save the planet. These are the same people who have cats that fucking murder everything. Like, I, more, yeah. more species of birds have been wiped out because of your stupid cat than anything else. I get far too much pleasure. I probably waste too much time on the local Facebook groups. People like, it's getting cold. Bring your animals inside. And then other dudes are like, well, stop building these fucking breeds that can't exist, that don't go outside. Like, a proper animal, it... We only have it today because it lived through the last 10,000 years. Yep. Outside. And, and there's always the cat ones. And these people are like, oh, my God, don't put your cat outside. It kills so many birds. Uh, bitch, you would have lost your mind. Like, we, we decimated the whole West Coast songbird population when they gave me a BB gun. <laughs> like, mm. it's just wild, man. The things that people have to worry about. You are worried about 
people's cats eating birds that would shit on you if they could. If they if you were if they were bigger, they would just pluck your eyes out and eat them. Yeah. Wild. Yep, cats are ruthless. So, speaking of like you said solar farm and windmills and stuff, um you know, they've got all these reactors. You know, Finland just put this new reactor mm-hmm. system online. They built this thing. Super fucking safe, and I know I know that you're of the opinion that there's no way to make these things safe. They've got these new reactors and seemingly they lowered the price of electricity to the general population that this this reactor services by 70%. So they say you can, a grain, one grain, like it's like the size of a rabbit pellet mm-hmm. food, you know, will power the reactor for 70 years and it puts out more power. It would take, I think he said 700,000 cubic feet or yards or whatever of natural gas to power this thing. The- the price of electricity is always in there. Yeah. Well, the price, yeah. The it, price costs, of, it costs $4 the, billion dollars to build one. Yeah. In the United States, they have, by the time, they're like, we're going to build this reactor till the time it's finally approved and built. We're at 40 years right now yeah. on a reactor. They, there's Because oil, right? Oil makes more money on oil, and it's not oil companies any longer. It is energy companies. And the people who are going to build these also produce this. And when you look at the footprint it takes one mile all said and done infrastructure one mile to have a reactor right and these are the the reactors that you and i know as kids right yeah. whereas it takes a hundred and seven thousand miles of wind uh no it takes it takes seventy five thousand of wind 107 of uh solar to yeah, produce the, these things solar will never solar will never do it um wind will never do it Nuclear nuclear power is really the only thing that could. It, I don't I don't see how we could ever be off oil. People are not very smart when they think about let's get off oil because everything that you wear has oil in it. Every fucking cup you pick up has oil in it. There's there's oil in just about everything that you do. Even the windmills and even the fucking solar panels have oil in them. So we'll never really be off oil. Nuclear power could provide. Um, enough power to really change the game. Mm-hmm. The, what what's the problem? The problem is the amount of reaction. So, for example, if you're going to take a gallon, if you're going to take a barrel of oil and turn it into um, fuel mm-hmm. to run a plant, run a car, whatever, that that amount of oil, even if we're talking hundreds of thousands of gallons in Louisiana, and that uh, and that refinery melts down. The footprint of that problem is going to be as big as the refinery, meaning when it's all said and done and they put the fires out and everything, that natural disaster is going to be the footprint of the refinery. Now, if you take a nuclear power plant and you create enough power, you create enough power to power the eastern seaboard, right? We're going to fucking, we're going to power the eastern seaboard with this nuclear power plant. You're creating a, you're creating a, a massive energy inside that power plant. That when or if there is ever an emergency, you're going to lose 30 miles of the eastern seaboard. It's going to be polluted and done. Do you, know people, you know how many people died in Fukushima? The problem with... Trick saying, question, but go ahead. I don't know how many. It probably wasn't a lot. It's one. Yes. But now, it's, now, cumulative over the time, there was six that died during evacuation and things that happened. And then you're like, well, what about cancers? There's, it's all said like 23 currently. That is what we are being told. Correct. That is what we are being told. But okay. again, that area is so highly radiated and those people that are going in there, that's the problem with radiation. Is ra- and, and this is that this is that thing. If I shoot you, if I shoot you right now, you're going to be like, shit, bullets and guns are bad because this happened right now. We always, as a as a species, we don't we don't ever look at the long term effects. It's kind of why people still smoke. It's why people still dip. It's why people still drink Diet Pepsi. Is because it's a long term accumulative effect. So when people talk about how many people died in Fukushima, they're not going to know for twenty years because that is the cancer level that they're going to have to deal mm-hmm. with. So <clears throat> I, you know, when would you go to? Would you go to Chernobyl? Yeah, I would go to I would go to Chernobyl. I go to Fukushima. I would go because again, 
Yeah, we're 50. I, I'm old. And then it's also long-term effect, right? So what would be the long-term effect of me getting a high, a, a high uh, dose of radiation? The crazy um, thing, like, so we can go to Chernobyl very inexpensive, probably even cheaper now, right? Because mm -hmm. isn't there a war going on currently right Ooh, there? Wait a minute. Yeah, we can't. I think Chernobyl's, <laughs> it's been, it's been passed back and forth between the Ukrainians and the Russians. So I think the tours are closed Look right now. Look up uh, Chernobyl tours on Instagram. There's a couple pages I follow, but they're like, hey, bro, come on down. Like the hotel, yeah. everything's still there. Yeah. It's just, again, when we, when there is a danger for human beings, when there's a danger and a threat that we can actually see, like if there's a fucking lion in front of you that just ate your friend, you see that danger and you can react to that danger and you will be like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Well, if you just wait 15 minutes, he's going to lay down because he just ate that guy. But if there is a... He's, if there's he's a, looking for sunlight now. If there's a threat that we can't see, we tend to just fucking be like, whatever. Oh, radiation? It's not going to affect me today. So you hear about, like, spent fuel is the big problem. What do we do with all this stuff? Do you know how much spent fuel there is? Well, I mean, there's a lot here, but there are places in there are places in Europe where they recycle that spent fuel. Yeah, so we have the capability. We have reactors that will run on recycled, um, you know, product. Um, they said, now I listened to, obviously, I listened to a podcast about this this morning. Yeah. And what he said was all of the spent fuel in the United States will fit within a side, a football field, uh, 10 feet tall. That's, that's how much recycled material that we're dealing with. We don't have a lot of, I mean, the reality is we don't have a lot of reactors that are running. Yeah. Well, currently. Yeah. yeah we don't have so a, the we way have for people reactors. that aren't realize, don't realize how this works, it, it all relies on steam, right? We, we need something that makes massive heat mm -hmm. to, to turn, turn a turbine and the turbine creates basically electricity. creates electricity. So you're dealing with steam for the most part is how that works. Yeah. Turbine creates electricity. The turbine has oil in it. <laughs> Metal. All the things that have to be harvested. But again, I I just I don't want a nuclear power plant in my backyard no. because you know, because people, people the problem is people. So we bring all these immigrants that they've just let in the country that then, you know, they're now building camps, oh, I'm giant sure. fucking camps and shit. Seen all the, the mess going on in fucking New York and shit. Mm -hmm. So they're going to, we take all those people and we just put them on exercise bikes. It's one way of doing it. Yeah. It helped pay for the, all the phones we gave them. When society collapses and those people want that, that pail of rice, you're like, Hey, I think I saw show up here today for six hours. You ride this exercise bike. I think I saw a movie about that where they, everybody you did, has to write, you did, you were telling me about it. It's black to, mirror or something. Yeah. Maybe black mirror mm -hmm. where they, they have to ride show an up. exercise bike yeah. and watch these things to get to the next level. The next level. Ready player one. Yep. The next level. I am a, I am just a, what is it? Randall? What, what are you, what is, what NPC? is a, I am just an NPC. I'm an NPC, and people come to me and move on to the next level. Are you going to go see the new Hunger Games? No, I'm not going to see the Hunger Games. When was the last time you saw a movie in the theater? Top Gun? Like a year ago? Yeah, Top Gun. Whenever okay, Top new, Gun. But not like 1980 Top Gun. No, 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 no. The new new Top Gun. I went to the single theater in uh, Waverly, Tennessee, and watched the new Top Gun. Okay. Which was, by the way, yeah. Just a remake of Star Wars. Fucking come on, Hollywood. God, you had an opportunity and all you did was remake Star Wars. We're gonna take our ships and fly down this canal and can't be hit by the by the guns up on the ridge line and shoot a fucking womp at that's only two meters wide. Come on! God damn it. Tom Cruise, you're better than that. Why would you steal the fucking franchise of Star Wars? Just make a fucking original movie. Well, Jesus. Oprah, Oprah made him do it. I wouldn't surprise, no, not Oprah. Tom's anti-Oprah because Tom's a Scientologist. See, The Rock came out and said, I don't want to be president, but if the people wanted it. Fuck The Rock. I, I get I get people like The Rock, but he's a sellout. It's all about the fucking, it's all about the money. If you think Donald Trump was bad. How is Donald Trump bad? I'm just saying, if people think Donald Trump was bad, The Rock is no, you know, he, he's a fucking sellout. It's all about the fucking, and I, I get it. That's the. That's the industry that The Rock is in, right? That he, that's the industry that he is in. But he wouldn't out. He went in there, fucking in Hawaii, handing out rolls to people who just lost their houses. He could have been there. 
Yeah. He could have really helped those people, but he didn't. What he chose to do was hold hands with Oprah Winfrey and ask everybody else for well, motherfucking let's, money. Let's skip back a few years before that. Remember when he came out and endorsed Biden and then yeah, fucking gave a speech in fucking yeah. Chinese. Yeah, I know. He could, because he's a sellout. Well, all his money comes from China. He's a sellout. That's all. Yeah. And just like when he tried to steal the fucking Fast and Furious franchise from his boy who helped him get in that franchise. I mean, you know, I don't, you know, I don't like, uh, what's his name? Vin Diesel. I'm not a Vin. I'm not a Vin Diesel fan, but is that my, my man like, is a. Is that because you don't like gay people? My man is a billionaire. Who? Vin Diesel. Yeah, he's a billionaire. The fucking the Fast and Furious franchise. You know he's shorter than Amanda. No way. Look it up. Bullshit. How tall is Vin Diesel? There's no way. I mean, it's it's possible, because you know Tom Cruise is a little dude too. I think what five four or five six maybe. You think they ever dated? Tom Cruise and Vin Diesel. Yeah. No, they're, they're two different genres. <laughs> he's a. Uh, Maybe because Tom's a Tom's a top and Vin is a bottom, so maybe, but I don't think so. So what else is going? He's five eleven. Yeah, so he's shorter than Amanda. Who? Vin Diesel. He's four eleven. Five eleven. Three eleven. He's he's barely four foot tall. That's not very tall. Five eleven. When I send him T-shirts, he asks for a large, but we didn't tell him. We just screen mediums mediums and we we put a large. We screen large inside the T-shirt. Mediums. I believe that he would wear a schmedium. Um, so what else is going on? I, nothing. There's nothing else going on. I heard you have like 18 videos out. No, no, only five. Are you sure? The fifth one's pretty good. They're all pretty good. No, it's, uh, have you not read your comments? I have not read the comments. I haven't even seen a shit talker in there. They talk, I've seen dudes talking shit about me. I've not seen anybody in your videos talking yeah, I, shit about you. I, I, I'm not I, even in your fucking videos I am, and they're uh, talking shit. I have, I have, uh, I am teetering on disaster with, with this whole s- scenario. The videos? Yeah, I'm teetering on disaster. How so? Um, <laughs> motivation, right? Not, not necessarily motivation, but, uh, there are other outside, there are other outside things that are affecting my ability to create forces. Content. Yes. A- other outside forces that are affecting my ability to create content. So when I'm, I should be creating content. I am. Um, Would you rather do the other things? I am. No, it's it's not things. It's not necessarily things. Like I, it's not like I have to go mow the lawn. Um, it's outside forces that are that are forcing me to think about other things versus thinking about making the content. Is it Satan? It is not. Fuck. I mean, it could be Satan. It's not Satan. I don't is it know. Nephilim? I don't think it's Satan. Is it red-haired giants from Afghanistan? It is definitely not red-haired giants from Afghanistan. It's Bigfoot. That would, that would make good content. Me blazing through the woods, chasing. Is it out-of-body spirits? Out-of-body spirits. Do we need to go to like, Waverly and maybe they'll just stay there? Uh, maybe out-of-body <coughs> out spirits. No, I... You want to capture them in a QP doll? I would love to capture them in a QP doll. Would you keep the QP doll or would, would we bury it somewhere? It. I, no, I would keep it. I would keep it. That's my that's my that's my problem right now is I'm I keep thinking about outside influences and I'm not concentrating on getting the content out. So this last week has been a fucking dry hole. I haven't done any real content. But fortunately, there's been a lot of content so he can make stuff. Yeah. We can make stuff to keep it going, but I don't want there to be a fucking dead spot, so I really have to do something tonight, I think. What do you want to do? Could fucking figure out some content to do. Because, again, I make I make a lot of mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes in my decisions in my life. And, for example, last weekend I did a video where I slept in the goddamn aluminum can to just do temperatures, right? So I'm going to be like, hey, this is what the temperature is outside. This is what the temperature is inside. That was easy, right? I was able to do that. Um, But the goal was the next night I would do the same thing, but with it insulated, right? (laughs) And so the insulation came (laughs) and it was a fucking, it was a sheet that was this big. That's what happens when you buy insulation off Timu. It was a piece of fucking insulation. No, I bought it off a regular. That was in sale. Very good rating. Because in my head, in my head, I was concentrating 
the thickness had to be right. It can only be eight right. millimeters, right? To get it on the sides on the back. It can only be eight millimeters. In the front, it could be whatever. It doesn't it doesn't matter. But it can only be eight millimeters. So I'm working in some bullshit European math where it's eight millimeters and then it's like 125 centimeters. So I'm like, uh, and it also said it was a roll. So I'm going, roll? 120. And then this fucking thing came folded in a little. I was like, enough to build a dollhouse. Like, what the fuck is this bullshit? It's like that fucking Constantina wire we were going to order. It looked perfect. It was on Amazon. But when you start reading the, it was like 75 feet of Constantina wire per thing, right? So you expect it to reach from zero to 75 feet, right? As it's deployed. No. If you cut it all apart, they sent you 75 feet of fucking wire. Mm-hmm. When it's deployed, it was only like 13 inches. Like, But they don't tell you that shit. Yeah. You have to read the, the comments. You have to read the reviews. And most of the reviews were good. <laughs> it's fucking insane. So that destroyed, that destroyed the ability to do the follow-on video, which means now I have to order this fucking shit. And the only place, the only place I can find what I need is in Australia. So that'll take a month to get here. Um, I ordered a, I ordered a ice co refrigerator for the, for it. And I ordered that a couple days ago. So I can do a whole video on how it's going to fit in there. And I think it's going to work really well. And I ordered their battery system. So it's plug and play, which doesn't matter now. Cause it's so fucking cold outside that, I could put a regular cooler in there and everything will be fine. But so I ordered that. I can do a video with that. But then they called me last night and they're like, um, yeah, we can't send this to a P.O. box. You've got to have a rail address. Send it here. Oh, I, I mean, I, I was just like, fucking send it to the billing address. Hopefully it won't get run over or crushed or blown up. Yeah, you can send any of that shit. Um, so that was the other, you know, that I'm trying to do these things. I ordered a. F- <laughs> I ordered a, there's a, this new company came out, there's this new company that came out that with this electric pump that you can put on a scepter water can and you just push a button and it, yep. boop, boop, water comes out, right? Yep. I ordered that. Well, my dumb ass, again, see, this is the pro. this is my problem. It's always some mistake. A couple of months earlier, I ordered a gift and sent that gift so the other address was to a there. person's house and boom i didn't think about it i just hit send send and that's the address and so it's on its way to another fucking world yeah we just had i just had a bunch of amazon shit that i actually needed for something and i'm like amanda where is this shit at it went to our daughter's house because she had sent something there for the baby. Right. And it fucking reverted. I'm like, take that, remove that out of the fucking profile altogether so that can never happen again. Yeah, so, I mean, it's just, it's one thing after another, and I don't know. I, don't, I think I don't you should build I'm, yeah. build a campfire. Build a campfire. And just park over the campfire, and it will heat the trailer up. It's interesting that you say that. Or. Because I was actually thinking of just putting a heat buddy under it. A heat, a he, buddy heater? Yeah, buddy yeah, heater. Yeah, Just you put totally a buddy could. heater under it. Or a kerosene heater, even. Because it's... Yeah. It'd probably get too hot. It would melt your fucking liners and shit, your whoopee in your sleeping bag. I don't I don't know if it... I mean, maybe. Because what I was picturing was take a skirt around the trailer, even if you used isomat somehow, rigor tape isomats around it to make a skirt and just make a campfire. And if the campfire's too big, too hot, let it die, bed of coals, yeah, I mean, pull put, over it, and then just put your skirt around it. Yeah. Right. that's too complicated. I'll just, it's, it's easier. You know what it is easier? Yeah, but we could have done my idea already. It's easier to just freeze. Don't you have like an 18 fucking layer sleeping bag well, that's system? What I'm, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I did the video of, it got down to, I think it was 32 outside and 30, or it was 30, 26 this morning when I walked outside. It was 30. Yeah. Well, this was over Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. I, I stayed in an over Thanksgiving. Best camp spot in the world. Best camp. It was the best. It is the best. Man, it is the best camp spot in the world. Um, or it was. All these crazy dudes have these, like, uh, hammocks. Uh-huh. And then it's an insulated. It's basically yeah. a fucking tent <laughs> off the ground is what it is. Well, that's the way. That's the kind of way, like, right now, the way I look at the dog kennel is 
It just keeps beavers from being able to bite you. When I'm in it, like I, like I was in it, and I was like, holy shit, it's just as cold in here as it is outside. Probably colder. Because it is just a giant aluminum can. But the reality is it's the same way a tent would be. Like mm-hmm. if I if I threw a tent on the ground uh, at the best campsite in the world, I almost froze to death there because the tent I used was too big and it, I wasn't retaining. Do any you not heat. have a shelter half? I no, I don't sleep in shelter halves anymore, John. That's so nineteen seventy three. Come do on. Not, do you not have a a fucking light fighter tent? Mm-mm. Two person. I was using a damn. You know, the big four man. <laughs> like a Walmart tent? No, no, no. It's a oh, real, you're using the, the, the North Face the fucking North Face four season four, base military tent? Military camouflage. Yeah. yeah. But the problem was it was too big. You know, obviously it was too big, so there's no way I was heating that up. Um, so I've got some of those. Somebody like, had to say I got me. the original Marine Corps issue ones, the, the brown green, two persons. Oh, the, I have those two. Okay. Yeah, I have those two, yeah. Um, anyway, so. Don't you have like a GP medium? I also have a GP medium. Don't you want to just plug it into the cigarette lighter and run a heater? In the GP medium? Yeah, just run a fucking Walmart. Well, then I would have to set up the GP medium. You know how hard it is to set up a GP medium by yourself? Why don't you just run a Walmart heater? Yeah, that's probably what I should <laughs> Just plug it I, into the what, fucking carry generator. That's probably what I should do is set up the GP medium and then put <laughs> the... The, the, the fucking dog, dog kennel, kennel inside, inside it, the GP medium. And then heat, heat the shelter. And then heat the whole shelter. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I am uh, I am floundering because, again, outside, you, outside emotions are, are tugging did, at me. Did you see the factory I sent you for sale? Yes. It said three-bedroom condo? Five-bedroom, two-bath. Five, yeah, five-bedroom. Because it's zoned residential commercial. It's been eating at me, right? It's only 320 grand. Why is it eating at you? I just think we should buy it. What are we going to, where is it at? Right outside of Nashville. What are we going to do with it? Who gives a shit? I guarantee we could make the fucking mortgage payment on it just off of fucking content each month. I think we could take the trash that's yeah. in it, sell the trash and fucking make the port. It would the be, payment. what would it be? Probably about two grand a month. Maybe. Maybe. It's, it's 30,000 square feet. We could turn it into a, a ice skating or a roller rink. You totally could. That building that we urban explored a couple of years ago, yeah. the old t-shirt factory, used to be a skateboard park up in the top. It's pretty cool. I wonder if I wonder whatever happened to the Coca-Cola factory. It's still sitting there. Yeah. Empty? No, it's still full of the guy's boxes. Oh, boxes. Box guy? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about box guy. Yeah. So, anyway. But the zoning's fucked up on that one. The Coca-Cola. Oh, yeah, the zoning was fucked up. I remember him talking about the zoning was fucked up. He, when we weren't in there, he's like, you can do anything you want. I'm like, anything we want? Anything you, anything you want. Yeah. And then we found out it was bullshit. But this yeah. one, not the case. Well. It's pretty neat. We could just have do. You, have you went and looked at it? Uh-uh. Oh, we should go look at it. We could do urban exploration videos in there and just do them in different sides of the building. <laughs> so it's a different location. Yeah. Just set up a whole new social media a channel for it. Yeah. And then, and then a year later, tell people, hey, this was all bullshit. Remember when I told you how to, you should start up social media and you can monetize it and build a brand and then sell merchandise off your brand? We just did it and it was all horseshit. So how come you didn't do it for real? But would it really be horseshit? No, no, it if would be real. I mean, if yeah. you, just because you own the building doesn't mean you can't urban explore it. Well, I think a lot, I think the move with a lot of those dudes is they're not actually, because people are like, oh my God, you're trespassing. Somebody's like, how did you get inside? I'm like, how do you think I got inside? Have you been here? There's no doors. Like there's physically no doors. Yeah. There's a there's a ladder and fire escape and there's no doors or windows on the building. And then... But I think a lot of dudes, they just get with a real estate agent and they're like, yeah, hey, I'm not a buyer, but I know you're bored and I'll give you a few hundred bucks. Let us walk around this motherfucker. Yeah. Most of those places, most of those places, if you, if you do your due diligence, you can get in without committing a crime. Correct. And, and most of them, even if they're held by the city, the city and doesn't if, want them on their books. And if you have a real channel yeah, where you're making real money. Then of course you're not breaking into places to see the fucking thing because it's too easy. It's too easy for people to come after you. I I, I was watching a video. I know I know you probably saw it, but I was watching a video 
couple years ago where uh, a couple years ago where it was this guy had a really big channel about cars and in one of his old videos they raced down a street. Oh yeah, and they jammed him. And the they, cops came like to his house. Like four years over. later, yeah. they fucking jammed him up for racing down the street. So yeah, he was real big into like it was Chargers or something, yeah. some kind of sports. So you kind gotta of thing. you you have to protect yourself. Dude, they came to his house with the fucking cops and shit. Yeah. Like it was a big deal the way they yeah, did you, it. You have to protect yourself when it comes to stuff like that. So why would you? I mean, you don't really have to break into those places. Correct. For the most part. Correct. Let me pee. Yeah, we don't want to talk about we don't want to talk about my life. My life is sad and. Lonely and isn't the Marine Corps just part of the Navy? Of course, it is. De- it's of course the Marine Corps is part of the Navy. The Mar- the Navy signs our checks, but it's the men's department. That's all that matters. <laughs> the men's department. If you want lingerie and uh, bras and stuff? That's the that's the Navy side. Or that's chicks with dicks. Sometimes, I mean, You're, that's what I hear. Have you seen? You, go ahead. What? No, that's what I hear. I hear there. Have you seen all the Pizza Hut buildings around that they've turned into the shit? Yeah, you know, there's one over in the in the in Paris. There, it's a sushi place now, right? No matter what they do, no matter how they paint it, no matter what crazy shit they put, it's, how they landscape yeah, it's, it's still that fucking Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, yeah. yeah, that's what a training is. I mean, yeah, true. Uh, there's some that are good, like they could yeah. trick you, right? But if 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 when you're the- if you're if you're a dude pretending to be a girl, and people are calling you a dude, you just didn't fucking try hard enough. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, when the aliens come and they're excavating everything, it's not going to matter what you bolted on. Those bones are going to get thrown in the mail pile. Those uh, those triple D titties will still be in there, though. Yeah, they'll still be there, but again, like, they're just going to be like, they're just going to be like, what's this dude with these big old titties like, doing? What the fuck is this? They're going to chuck them over in the in the we don't know pile, and the <laughs> we don't know pile, and then the rest will get thrown in the. And some archaeologist will throw right away ninety percent and mm-hmm. tell his story how he wants the other ten percent told. Which again, uh, don't I know that the internet is going to blow up because we're talking about that? But I don't care what you do. It, they're going to blow up over trannies or yeah. chicks with dicks or I don't, I don't aliens. Care. I don't care what you do. No, you the wanna... problem they have is the alien part. Maybe. How dare you? Yeah, I don't. I don't care what you do. You want to dress up like a furry, have fun. Um, I'd like to go with you, hang out. Um, I'd like, yeah. But the wanna... crazy thing with the furry is, how do you know if it's a Dude or a woman in there? Usually they they usually. Hey, what's going on? Well, usually my name's you, Martha. They character it. It's the characters themselves. So they have like hair ties or ponytails. Yeah, usually they usually they do it themselves. But it could be so. a dude trying to trick you. Could be. You know, all the 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 reality is what most people don't know is the furries. They have the craziest parties. Like all the go ahead and look it up. All the furry conventions. We know somebody that are, are furry. all the furry conventions are like, like nobody wants them to come to their town anymore because they, they party, smash the hotel drunk, room. Yeah, they they get way out of control. It's because, it, like Aerosmith. Well, no. Well, Aerosmith is different. It's because when you when you're a famous rock star, you feel like you can get away with whatever you want because you have all these handlers that are going to do everything they can to make sure that you throwing a chair out the window into the pool doesn't make the nightly news. Unless it's to help album sales, then that will make it in there. Mm. But the difference I've with... I've never walked into a place and been like, let's break all these windows. Because you, you haven't been handled. I walk into a place and I'm like, can we open this window if we have to? Okay, we can't. How can we get through here if we have to? But I'm not like, let's tear the walls down. I think it, I think that's the, the difference is you haven't been handled, right? So when you think about Aerosmith, right, or any band, any any popular band, you are funneled and pushed to the same locations every fucking night, put into a hotel room, and you can't really do anything else but that thing that you're doing and you've sang the same song 400 times this year and so you're in this hotel room you've seen the same groupie girls you've seen the same so it becomes a point where it's like how much destruction can we do now to get to just do something different i think is that how it really is i think it also you have no ramifications for what you're yeah doing. so when you're over in germany do you want to just destroy hotel rooms? I just want to just burn everything. 
Really? In Germany? Yeah. Really? He's really big in Germany, like David. I know Hasselhoff. they are. I know. That's why I want to drive the tour bus for him. And even if they, even if they, they don't have, two, they have a Zeppelin. That's fine. I'll fly the Zeppelin. I would love to wear the captain hat and fly the Zeppelin. Um, and if they, if they don't destroy the rooms after they check out, I'm going to go in there and, and destroy the room. Destroy the room. So everybody's like, man, those motherfuckers are crazy. Just to to get the hype, right? Um, and so I, I don't know where I was going with that, but you know, I don't know how we normal. Even, oh, we know somebody that's a furry. Oh yeah, furries. But, and then the thing about furries is they have the anonymity to do what they want to do. It's why, it's why like when Antifa, you know, when you have Antifa in town and they're going to break windows, they have to wear a mask, right? right? Because they're really, they're really scared of letting people know who they are while they're doing this thing that they know they shouldn't be doing. Same thing with furries is if you're in a costume, you can get away with something that you're in your head. You're like, yeah, nobody's going to know it was me that just took a shit in the lobby. Do you think furries, do they have a sex life without the costume? It probably sucks. I don't know. I, I don't, I've never, I've never, uh, I've never been in that world. Out of so everybody know. we know, who do you think would, is most likely to be a furry? Out of everybody we know? Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't know. We, we have to know furries. It's a dude. It's a dude. He worked for us. I don't know. Really? really? Yeah, who, I don't. I don't. Well, know. damn sure ain't Curtis. <laughs> well, What's your options? A lot of people have worked here, John. <laughs> it's Brandel. I mean, he's a carrot. He dresses up as a I carrot. I could see. I could see Brandel in a in a cat suit or a, you know, a, a big anime. I could see Brandel in that. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, I'm not against. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'd say always say we need like the sign twirler. We need a, a costumes for when people come in. They're like, I want to work here. All right, go wear the costume. What? Well, yeah, you definitely can't work here. Down that's for whatever a, any kind great, of weather. That's a great idea, actually. Yeah, to have a SOE sign twirler out there. Fuck yeah! In a costume, we'll put them. What like would the costume be? Anything, whatever we can buy. <laughs> It'll change all the time. I want to buy, I've been trying to buy a Mr. Peanut costume, like an original one, but most human beings nowadays can't fit, fit in, in them. them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could, it could just or an be an M&M one. It could just be, uh, it could just be a chicken suit. Yeah. Oh yeah. That says touch my combat cock. Touch my cock. Yeah. Well, Sebastian had, we had that costume yeah. for Sebastian. That one was really good, but nobody fits in it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, furries, whatever. I, again, I don't care what you do in your private for real, yeah. Especially if it doesn't, if it doesn't affect me. Yeah, I don't care. Now, if you want to, if you want to come to my house and tell me I have to believe your truth, then fuck you. I don't care. If you if you've taken all the furry material and you've glued it all over your car, and it'll be like, ask me about my weekend, and then you're like, hey, are you a furry? And then you get pissed off because everybody knows you're a furry. Maybe you should have fucking yeah. done a better job. Yeah. If you don't want to know that chick's got a dick, she should probably fucking look like a better girl. Yeah, but if she looks like a better girl, then you there you're gonna find out she has a dick in a different way. Not my problem. Again, not my problem. <laughs> not my problem. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care what you what you're what you're into or what you what you want to do. I think life is hard enough. Uh, life is hard enough just just being you versus worrying about what other people are wearing and. What other people are doing? Fucking who cares? So it's um it's Black Friday, Cyber Monday month, right? Mm -hmm. Or quarter? I think we're doing quarter now. Half who year, knows? half half a century. Um, did you get any sweet black? Did you do anything Black Friday? Did you buy anything? Did you, I didn't did you get do, lured in or almost tricked into any sales. No, no, I didn't do any. Uh, I did no shopping, but I did do a Black Friday sale only because I bought the cooler for Dog Kennel and Little Spoon, and it. Just happened that I did it on Monday, and they're like, "They automatically Cyber gave Monday, you. thirty percent off." Wow! So it saved me a hundred bucks, and, and it, it it saved me a legit hundred bucks because I've been looking at these things for months, mm -hmm. and uh, so I knew what the price was going into it, and I was like, "Fuck, I really don't want to do this." And then when I when I decided I got to find something to create content, that was Monday, and I'm like, "Boop." Oh, hey, it's fucking Cyber Monday, 30%. Or it was actually Sunday, and they were like, it's still Cyber Monday. <laughs> and so I got 30% off, and so it, it actually dropped at 100 bucks. Yeah, they're saying um, 
<clears throat> these are the lowest numbers in like 50 years or something for Black Friday sales. It didn't put a lot of companies in the black like it's supposed to. And they said um, that things are actually so bad that a lot of trucking companies, their trucks are sitting still because people aren't booking loads. And they've had to lay off a bunch of the people that were actually booking loads, all the, the transportation um, people that do all the dispatch and stuff. They're laying tons of these people off because there is no transportation. There's no loads being transferred because manufacturing's down, sales are down, incoming goods are down. And the economy is really so fucked that it's not, it's not the economy. Okay, what is it? It's uh, it's bread and circus. Okay. So, um, if you think about if you think about Black Friday sales when you know we were younger, mm -hmm. right? When we were younger, yeah, we people, used to go just people, to see. You yeah, couldn't even get in a parking lot. People would be fucking lined up around the a, a block because of it. Why? Because it was an exclusive day, so it was exclusive. You had to do it on that day, and. And there was actually real sales. Like, there would be 25 PlayStations in there for a fucking dollar. And so you had to fight to get that fucking thing. Well, what we have done is we have created what the industry has done. And this is uh, all you CFOs out there. You should be listening to this. You fucked up by creating this month of sales. Or half a year. Yeah. So everybody's, everybody's like, well, I don't need to go today. I can go tomorrow. Or I can go next week. Because they've created this fucking month of sales to try and keep people still interested. You want to keep people interested? Sell 50 TVs at Best Buy for $75. Not only that, you don't have to go there only to one pick day. it up. They, yeah. they deliver them, right? Nobody wants to go and pick a TV. Where are the days of... I, well, you occasionally still see yeah, it at you a Costco. You, you see a guy that's bought an 84-inch TV and he's trying to put it in a fucking a hatchback. Yeah. Like, it won't go in there. But you need the bread and circus. If you want to get people to buy a bunch of dumb shit, you have to have bread and circus, and they're not doing that anymore. And even when you think about... Like, like there's a hundred videos out right now of people walking around, like, Walmart, Best Buy, Target... Ghost Town. Well, no, where they're walking and it's like, you know, 73 inch TV, Black Friday sale, six ninety nine, And then they're pulling that out of the sleeve and the, the placard from the week before is still in there and it's like 70 inch TV, six ninety nine. Ah. They're not really doing sales. <clears throat> they're just they're Everybody is pretending to do sales in order to get people in the store. It's like a, um, the, here you go. Here's another tip there, CFOs. It's like a gas station. Okay. Yeah. The no. No target, money on the fuel. Target is Target, Walmart, all those places are like a gas station. You got to sell hot ticket items. You got to fucking just throw them in the dirt. You know, make them because again, you are making a, a pretty good margin. You got to drop the fucking price on those things. You know, make again hundred dollar TVs again. Um. Because the guy who buys the fucking hundred dollar TV is also going to buy a candy bar some motherfucking gum, some soda. They're going to buy other shit because they're in the store. That's the point. Doing doing the, the way they're doing it now where it's spread out over a fucking, you know, two-month period and who cares? And, if, and here's the other thing. Cyber Monday? Fuck Cyber Monday. I know you guys are trying, but that's not... that. You force people to go. If I say PlayStations are a dollar at Best Buy tomorrow, motherfuckers are going to be there. And if you've got a bunch of cyber people are like, why can't I order it online? Be like, fuck you. You got to go and get didn't it. Didn't you just have a, sale. didn't you have some influencer who was going to give away a PlayStation in the park in New York caused a, a riot happened? Oh, maybe. Awesome. Happened, like a few months ago that happened. But I mean, that's the, is a PlayStation hard to get? What's the, why fucking, it's always PlayStation. Well, cause I think PlayStation is the, is the dominant. Look up. Can we buy PlayStations right now? What PlayStations could we? Could or, we buy ten of them? How much are they? Probably, probably PlayStation Nine. Five, I think. Oh, we're at five. So that's you have to create hype and demand. It's like if you think about any of the movies or any of the stuff that was going on in the eighties, like Cabbage Patch Dolls or all that. that Did was, you see the Cabbage Patch Dolls? I, we found a whole booth, like a whole fucking oh, yeah. hundreds of them. Yeah. I'm like Brandel. I'll get these for you. And he never, he's, it's weird because he, he, he waits till the next day. He's like, I would love to have those, but he always does it when he knows I'm not there. <laughs> but I said, do you think these get up and move around at night? You have to create hype and demand and nobody's doing that. And so that's, that's what, terrible. How that much is, is terrible leadership guys. You're fucking 500. CFOs. 500. 
Are they hard to get? Are they available right now? Oh, I'm sure they're available right now because nobody's So why do it. people get killed over them? Because, again, um, think about this. So it's 500 bucks, right? If, you know, I'll use Walmart as an example. It's 500 bucks. If Walmart said, we have 30 of these motherfuckers and we're going to sell them for 100 bucks, people are going to fight tooth and nail because they don't want to pay 500 bucks. If I'm in New York City... Think about New York City. I don't know how many fucking million people. 11 million people live in, in the borough. No, I think it's more than that. Um, but think about New York City. If I'm in New York City and I can push social media, I can push it out to the entire crowd and say, I'm in the motherfucking park. First person here gets a free PlayStation. People are going to be fucking going bananas because they're like, free PlayStation. I don't have to pay 500 bucks. It's just it's just the way it we is. Bring, you, we you bring bread and circus it. We bring nine hundred people into this county. Okay. For our events. Uh huh. That's nine hundred people that are gonna spend money at the restaurants, nine hundred people that are gonna get in hotel rooms, mm -hmm. nine hundred people that are gonna go to Walmart, and all of that money, like a large portion, I didn't realize until recently, sales tax stays in the county. A lot of that sales tax stays in the county. But you know what they do? They're not like, Hey, how can we help you? Hey, thanks for bringing nine hundred people in. Nope. They send the fucking, they call the state troopers and the state troopers roused up our fucking clients and write tickets. They literally sit out here and fucking pull over our fucking attendees. Because they're going to get more money out of the uh, tickets than they are out of the tax it's revenue. Just, it's just fucking crazy, man. Well, they'll get more money out of tickets than the tax revenue <clears throat> and it's not constant. And when So if you, but I mean, it's not constant. So let's say, I'll use SRF as an example. If you did that four times a year, like if this was something that where that right now they're looking at and they're going, oh, we got a little bump right here, but they have to plan based off of over here, not over this bump. And so, but if four times a year, I guarantee you the goddamn, uh, you know, commissioner would be down here being like, what, what can we do? How can we zone this to make it better? Would you rather do it in the park? I guarantee you if, if the, if it was happening consistently like that, then they would, they would, uh. I didn't know also, like when the uh, when Tennessee Highway Patrol writes tickets, a lot of the money actually stays in the municipality also for the tickets written. Yeah, I'm sure that, that I'm sure everybody gets a, a gets a little yeah. taste. Yep. Gets a little taste of it. That's how they're not like, hey, you're fucking tyrants. Yeah. Everybody gets a little everybody taste. Everybody gets bought off. Yeah. It's, well, that's all it is. A, so if we were going to do yeah. what what would our be um, what would be our in the dirt price playstations? If as, if I'm like, hey Jeff, I want to run some sales and really draw some sales, and what what thing would we do? What do you mean, like what, sell what, playstations? Yeah. What would be our 70 inch TV? Oh, you mm -hmm. 70 inch TV. The question is, what could you? Not something I have to produce. Oh, not something you have to something produce. Something we just bring in. Uh, well, do $100 PlayStations. But again, but again, the problem with you is how do you take that how do you take that sale item and turn it into revenue off of the things that are on the rack, right? Right. And so a PlayStation wouldn't really work for you Correct. because the person Correct. who's so it would have to be, you know, the reality is you would have to buy something or you would have to have either something made well, you would have to have something made that would be exclusive enough, but like enough of the products that you already have. Yeah. So people would be like, it doesn't even have to be that. Like we I did, got free shotgun cards. I better get a fucking shotgun. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We did, uh, we did 20% off. And then, uh, on cyber Monday, we jumped it up, um, and did a free t-shirt. So you got to pick a free t-shirt, which is good. I mean, and, and the sale, you do see that mm -hmm. sale spike again. You see beep, beep, like the fucking read enough. What's that thing in EKG? You yeah. know, you see it, it jump up for sure. Yeah. But I did see a lot of people, even people we know, were like, hey, I'm, I'm running this promotion. Our sales are, we're not where. Because a, a lot of companies, um, they make their nest egg for the year yes, that's on the way, Black Friday. That's the way it used to be. It's not yeah, they make anymore. a ton of money on that Black Friday sale, and that kind of carries them for their next clothing line or whatever they're right. doing the rest yeah. of the year. Yeah. Yeah, that, but that model has been destroyed. We destroyed that model by, again, there was so much bad publicity when you think about it. There was so much bad publicity of people trampling each other, trying to get into Walmart that Walmart is the one that really started this where they're like, we'll just extend it out a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And then every other company was like, well, if Walmart's doing it, we're going to do it. And it, if you, if you actually look at, if you actually look at sales, right? If you look at those revenues, since Walmart stopped letting people trample each other going into Walmart, the revenue has always been down. It has never peaked back up to like it was when we were like, 
got to fight over a PlayStation. So, mm-hmm. and it won't go back up. And it won't go back up until companies are like, until companies can provide an exclusive thing that is really on sale. Meaning, you know, again, if you have the, if you're, if you have the Cabbage Patch dolls and they're fucking a hundred dollars all year, come Christmas time, that motherfucker should be $25. Yeah. And you remember it was, it was uh, Tickle Me Elmo, yeah. Cabbage mm-hmm. Patch. There was another one. Um, but and I those haven't... were all limited runs too. So you could, it wasn't like, even if you had the hundred dollars or whatever it was to buy a fucking Tickle Me Elmo, There'd only be 20 of them in the store. Yeah, and I think, too, a lot of those, again, wonderment, right, Amanda? I've, that word has really stuck with me, the wonderment of it. <clears throat> we don't use traditional media like we used to, right? We're not looking to MK Ultra fucking, you know, CIA-controlled media where they were all owned by the same... They get us issued a script, right? right? So the news readers reading whatever happened, and by the way, Tickle Me Elmo is the hot new toy this year. It's it's just not there anymore. No, it doesn't it's work there. the same way it used uh-huh. to. It's it's all the audience is the most important, uh, valuable asset that any company has. I mean, we it's w- attention. You, if you think about it, we watch GI Joe, we watch GI Joe cartoons religiously as little kids, and they were just commercials. Mm-hmm. They weren't. It wasn't like they were. Were there were there two were gay guys com- in GI Joe? Were there two gay? I, I believe. Yeah. Well, I mean the the sailor guy with the. I just remember, like, what, who's the main dude? Duke? Uh, Duke, I think, is the main guy. I remember seeing something recently, that, like, yeah, kids didn't even realize that Duke and so-and-so were always coming out of the bathroom together or the locker, or there was something, you know? Uh-huh. When you watch, um, even, even like, what were the um, Tom and Jerry and and some of those those cartoons that were even, like, black and white cartoons? We grew up watching those, and you'd get up on Sunday and watch cartoons, but it was really claymation. It was Davy and Goliath, yeah. the church version. Um, but then, when you you let your kids watch those twenty years later, and you're kind of you're an adult, they have a whole nother meaning. Like right. watching watching The Simpsons as a child is very fucking different than watching The Simpsons now. And that's that the goes, same episode, but that goes with all. I mean, we think about it. That goes with all animation. Mm-hmm. It's adults that are doing it. Right. Yeah. And if you if it's adults, if you're doing it, and if you're a an adult that's been doing fucking GI Joe cartoons for a year, and you're bored out of your mind, of course you're gonna put weird shit. In there. D- did you see? So Disney is like completely failing. Like yeah, of course. Like closing down almost. Like going no yes, longer concerned because they they uh, oh, the, went woke. Well, what they really the real issue is again CFOs pay attention. Um, what Disney did was they overextended themselves. And then went woke by buying ESPN yeah, and all by that buying shit. all that bullshit. So they overextended themselves, and they got new platforms. So like when you're talking about Disney Plus channels and all that bullshit, they overextended themselves. They opened new platforms, and then with those new platforms, they went woke. And that is not when when a when a mother is looking for a Disney show for her child to watch, woke is not what she's looking for. She's looking for wholesome goodness american cartoons and so that that's why the disney channel was the first thing to collapse the disney channel ate shit and now everything in that line is eating shit and because they are so overextended disney itself is going to eat shit i mean even their you know their new i don't think their new fucking cfo is going to be able to save them because they just went too retarded so you know about jeremy boring uh jeremy's razors Yes, 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 yes. Jeremy's chocolate. Yeah. Right. He's uh he runs the media company that Shapiro's part of. Okay. So they have uh children's cartoons that are wholesome and they're they're doing that whole thing and they're doing like after school movies and then they're doing like um, you know, just media that would apply that would appeal to us, you know, right. where the good guy wins and goes through some turmoil and shit. It's not just like I cut my wiener off kind of shit. Right. So Tim Pool has launched a series of, they're doing some skate parks and they're doing these coffee shops and they're having Saturday morning, you show up with your kids and we're having, you know, kids cartoons that are, you know, family oriented and just kind of, you know, changing the culture. I just, I thought it was pretty cool to hear the interview. He was on uh, Tim Pool's show last night. I caught a few minutes of it, yeah. but I just, I'm like, man, imagine if fucking just a thousand of us got together and did that and just independently, right? We just... Hey, come on down. We're going to we're going to open the shop up. We're going to do a fucking barbecue. Anybody shows up, bring the kids. We'll just fucking hang out for the day. Not even trying to sell you anything. Just like like-minded right. people, you know. Um I want to introduce you to dude lives property over here. He he's uh 
is social media is Marine Homesteader, Marine Prepper. Uh, Bo is his name. Good dude. And he just comes by. He's just making an effort to come by, and he's like, hey, I was just coming by to say hi. I brought you some sausage. I did this, did that. But just shit like that, you know, yeah. just just some community where we have common interests, we have children, and we have families, and we fucking get our hands in the dirt, you know? We're just doing shit. Yeah, that is the... Uh that's the that's the problem with big government. Big government doesn't want you doesn't want community doesn't want family. No, absolutely. They want, they yeah. want to destroy all that. They need to, they need you to need them. And that's why you know that's why we're in the position we're at right now, where we have a, a whole generation of of, of uh, male children who are lost, and really a generation, a couple of generations of uh, females that are completely lost. And when I say that, you know, we we opened we opened up a world for women in the last 30 years that really wasn't, I don't, it wasn't available. It was always available, but we've kind of forced this. We've forced this idea of freedom on uh, women that has allowed them to achieve a lot of stuff, but they're not getting satisfaction out of any of it. They're not getting satisfaction out of it. And they're very lonely. And that is creating a lot of problems in itself. Meaning, you know, that's, that's, Fucking why Tinder is successful because you have all these lonely women on there that are trying to go after the top 10 dudes on the fucking planet. After the catfish. Yeah. So <clears throat> it's, uh, and it, and it's creating a lot of loneliness. And I, I think, uh, you know, men and women, when they took, the reality is probably when they took school dances out, like when man, we were doing school dances in fifth grade. We were doing, we were right? doing school dances in juvenile hall. Yeah. But I mean, when they took that out, when they took that out and they just made everything curriculum focused, even recess, like a lot Is of Is there places, not school dances no, anymore? No. I mean, you got proms and shit like that, but not at the level they were back then. So people aren't interacting, right? They're not, they're not making connections. And by not making connections, they're not learning how to connect with people and they're not learning how to communicate. And, I, and again, well, that's, I mean, I'm that's, not the that's great. That's the fucking cell phone too now. People. I'm not the great communicator, but it's just, I see that with. We'll be out in public and I'll see young people like 10, 15, whatever, and they're all on their phone. I'm like, yeah. you guys texting each other? And they're literally texting each yeah. other. They're sitting next to each other, texting each other. So I don't, I mean, I don't know the, I don't know the solution because I, I just see it, you know. Um, I just see p youth now where they're just, and I don't, and when I say youth, I'm, I'm talking about somebody who's fucking 30. The two youths, you know, and so it just lost because they can't fi they can't find and keep a connection with somebody, because that was never the goal, right? The goal was always to be, you know, more successful, more successful, and that doesn't work Not um, anymore. Doesn't work. Nope. We're what Gen X? Yeah, we're Gen X. And then you had millennials after us. What's the current? Are you, what are you? You're a millennial. You're not like a normal. I thought you were an X. No, you're. Yeah, you are a millennial. We, because you yeah. hear like millennials, millennials. Well, millennials are thirty five, fucking yeah, they're 40 thirty years, years old, old now. now. Yeah. yeah, they have they have homes and shit. Yeah. They did some some poll, and who knows where the poll came from? But they were talking about a poll, and they're like, if you if you were had to be off of work for a month, right? How much money do you have to have in your bank account to feel comfortable? And the number was like a hundred grand. They have to have yeah, 100, it's always hundred hundred grand. grand. They ain't never seen a fucking hundred grand. It's most all, of them. It's always a hundred grand, and the mean income in the United States is forty one thousand dollars. Yeah, they've never seen a hundred grand. Well, that's the same thing with it's it's because of social media. It's the same thing when you see them interviewing uh, women about what the perfect man is. It's always six figures. They're always throwing out this. Yeah, number. they just asked a bunch of these women, and I and I always wonder where the poll comes from. How many were in it? Where did you yeah. did you go to this one club to get this poll? How much should it be spent on a wedding ring? Hundred thousand dollars, fucking bitch. You you haven't made a hundred grand in your entire life. I saw I, I saw a video. It's same thing. Hundred grand. It was it was a, I think it was a TikTok. But it was it was them that same video where they're asking the girls about how much you spent on a ring, a hundred thousand dollars. And then this guy just goes through all the tanks. Love it. He goes through all the tanks that you could buy. You could get a leopard two tank for this month. Yep. Well, he just goes through. I think why I send I, it to you. Yeah. Why would I spend a hundred grand on a fucking ring? Yeah. Yeah, it's it just ridiculous. And that, but that, I mean, that's, I don't know. That's part of the problem. And Women women want security, right? They want stability. And young men are not stable. So when a woman leaves her man, she is aging. And when a man looks at a woman, typically, they're not looking for an older woman. 
they can easily, if you take two people that are, let's say, 45, and they split up, that dude is typically going to get a younger woman. That woman, if she gets another man, it is typically going to be a younger dude, right? But she is not desired, right? She is she takes what she can get. She does not get to really go and choose, whereas the man more gets to go and choose. And he's going to get something younger, and that you generally fucks with the, the other side. Right. Like, you are more sought after after you aged, whereas a female is typically not more sought after after she does not, she might mature with age, but she does not improve with age from the physical appearance. So from the outside, it's just, it's interesting when you listen to those yeah. those shows, especially where you've got the, the 10 retard twits. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. fucking yeah. Tate, Tate's boy just fucking tears them tears apart. Them apart yeah. And then you've always got Jabba the Hutt in there, that one fucking she-male tranny. The, uh, they, what do they call that girl? I can't remember what they, the internet's given her some name. But it's pretty, it's entertaining for a few minutes to watch that shit. Yeah, it is entertaining. But I don't know, socially, we, we need to swing back the other direction. I think it is swinging back. They, we need now, to swing back the other if you direction. Watch, if you watch mainstream media, which is now social media, you're typically not going to be told that, right? Because they've done a really good job at suppressing that shit. But if you look at other platforms, Rumble and these other places, the story is told very differently, right? Have you seen all this stuff going on right now um, in Ireland? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh-huh. so you have you have a a dude from Africa somewhere. Yeah. Some these these dudes show up and they stab a bunch of fucking Irish white children. Kids, yeah, yeah. So they're like, hey, the problem here is the immigration. We are letting yes. these these wild savages into our society, and they want to kill us, which is by design, right? It is to create turmoil. That's why they let them in there. And now you have Irish Parliament. You've got this lady that has passed this bill that is super vague. And one of the dudes calls her out, and he's like, this is so vague, you could arrest and imprison people for anything. You haven't really told them what that's for. And she literally said on television, she goes, it has to be vague because we need to instill fear in them so that they question what they do before they do it, and that's the only way we can control them. She just she said the quiet part out loud. Yeah. It's absolutely so Conor McGregor's like, yeah, we need the war. This is this is war, and now they want to extradite Conor McGregor and imprison him in Ireland for saying stuff on fucking Twitter while he's in the United States. And then you be have careful, McConnor. The fucking U.S. might <clears throat> let them have you. Well, a lot of theory is that the United States is only ten years behind. As crazy as we go, that could never happen. You look back five years ago, every crazy thing they did that we said was crazy, we were fucking now oh, done yeah. here, yeah. right? It's all the one world government stuff. It yeah. is to dilute the United States and to remove your heritage and remove your fucking uh, let's come together. You know, there is no together because it's so diluted. So you have France right now. You have, a, a again, dudes, some, some guys from, I think it was Algeria, show up at a party and literally said, we are here to stab white people. And they did. They shanked fucking five, six, six people. Somebody lost his life over it. And now they're having these protests. Um, protests for Thomas, I think it was the kid's name, that actually died. And France came out and goes, we forbid you from having this protest. So, like, it, it's full-blown, like, clash of the titans, fucking yeah. on fire kind of shit. And then, like, I opened up platform, I think it was X or something this morning, and you see all these videos of their, I'm like, what the fuck are they throwing in there? It looks like moldy dust and shit. Well, the farmers are again, fucking manure spreaders covering their, they're dumping truckloads of manure off. They're dumping truckloads of uh, moldy hay and they're throwing it in the tax collector's offices, but they don't want you to see that. Right. Because well, yeah, that might give yeah. you ideas. It's, it's not, it's, I, yeah, you just, they don't want, they don't, what they don't want is it to spread. Jack Spierko had a great show yesterday, Survival Podcast, and he basically, he did a show two days ago about how fucked the United States is and the crazy shit, and he doesn't ever do shows like this. He's like, when I do these shows, it gets millions of views on the ratings. When I do a show with solutions about what you can actually do, we get a few thousand people because people want to watch the fucking blood and the guts and the gore, and they don't, they're not, um, they're reactionary maybe, but they don't want to actually act, right? He, so he did a show yesterday about these are the 12 things you can do to remove your, your chains, right? And uh, Evan from Radio Made Easy, he always says, um, I got off the paycheck plantation. I started my own business, and I am no longer under the chains of slavery from the paycheck. And that, that's, a, that's a great term that he uses, paycheck plantation. But Spearco was talking about these are the things you can do to make your life better. 
just just deal in start some hobby where somebody wants to buy this thing from you take cash for it and then you go down and you buy more supplies in cash with a business a small business and they're not going to report that right and it's a crime for us to even have this conversation in in theory right we are telling you to do something that the government tells you not to do but at the, the he went through, he went through these 12 points and he said you know the government can only exist because we believe in the government, right? When you believe that the government didn't actually do anything for you, you just cease to put any effort or energy into the government. We just simply ignore them. And when you call the government or you call law enforcement, you are usually, you're definitely making, you're using the threat of violence at the end of a gun, right? Yes. Who shows up? Law people enforcement with, shows up. Guns, Stop yeah. fucking calling law enforcement. Uh, Frisella was like, you know, we dread having these hard conversations. A kid, a kid had written in, on uh, one of the Q and A things, and he said, uh, "You know, I have I have these these family members, and we're in business together, and we I hate to have these hard conversations." And they even quote Bible. He's like, "Stop being a pussy. Why is it a hard conversation? Just have the fucking conversation. You you, you have to remove emotion and just say the things, and then what happens happens. But maybe maybe it is that." You know, your family member put the money and you're doing the work. You feel the family member's not working. Well, he put the money in. He doesn't have to fucking do the work. So it's just, I know this is a million different directions, but there's so much shit that's actionable that can be done. But we are so fucking busy complaining and looking at the negative rather than actually acting, right? How many people do we know that have left California, right? We know Ton. I've been here 17 years. You've been here. Every person I run into in Waverly is from California. But we still see people that are in here from California and they're still like talking shit about California. And I'm like, hey, what you're saying is not wrong. And I agree with you. But you escaped. Yeah, you fled. You escaped. You don't have to. You don't have to remember that you yeah, you, you fucking fled. clamped yourself into the chains in the basement while master fucking you know fucked your wife upstairs. That's not how it is. You you're not a slave anymore. Yeah, you fled. You're good. But I think, oh, I think the answer to even, uh, I think the answer to a lot of that is you know when you say people want to see the bread and circus, right? They want to see the guts and violence, versus they don't want to see the solutions is it goes back to the same thing I always say. Everybody's comfortable. comfortable. They're comfortable. If, 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 you know, if you have a hundred thousand people that are going to watch the show about, uh, you know, whatever solutions, right. If they're comfortable, they don't need to execute any of those solutions, but if they're fucking uncomfortable, if the government is really, you know, doing what it's doing and it's affecting you on a daily basis. Cause it, again, how, does the government affect you on a daily basis outside of paying taxes? No. But if the, if, if you were, if you were uncomfortable, then you would be looking at those solutions as real solutions. But we know, we know for a fact that this thing is terrible, that the, the shit that is, that the shit that they're propagating to us is terrible, but we're comfortable with it. Yep. We're comfortable looking at social media and going, oh, look, hey, look at, there's Brandel hanging out. We're comfortable with it, so we're willing to accept all the bullshit that comes from it. That's the same thing that, that's the same thing that everybody's living right now, is that we're comfortable. If, you know, if Joe Biden said, if Joe Biden said, hey, we have to give $100 million to Ukraine in order to ensure that uh, that government stays stabilized. But we also have to figure out a way to pay for it so we're going to cut military pensions by 25%. Did he do that? I don't, I mean, I, I, he would, I, he would, I don't know the rigors of it. He, he would probably need Congress to get involved, but I mean, it's not with, it's not outside the realm of possibility that they could be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck you veterans. We're not going to give you your retirement anymore. It's not outside that realm. Yeah, of sure it happened. Coming. It happened in the Soviet union. It could happen here. Look at all the pensions in California. Yeah. So that would be a lot there would be a lot of dudes that would be instantly unfucking comfortable. It would be a lot of armed dudes that would be instantly uncomfortable. And it'd be a lot of dudes that know how to, you know, know how to work the system. So 20 more years, it won't be, uh, well, I'm just saying, you know, yeah, that, all them, all them dudes will be too old and this generation coming up. Won't have seen any, it's, fuck, it's, they have no calluses. It, so, you know, that's a, that, that is the issue though. It's being comfortable. If you're, you know, they will, t you know, we talk about the poor people in, in the United States. They're not, they yeah, got, cell phones, got cell phones, they got air conditioning, they got refrigerators, they got, yeah, they're living, 
they're living paycheck to pay or EBT card to EBT card, but they're still pretty comfortable, right? They're still pretty comfortable. Um, government puts me on the street. I, I've got no choice, right? I've, I've got, it's John Dillinger time, right? It's, it's, I mean, highway man. It, it, it could be very interesting, but again, is bread and circus works if everybody's comfortable. Here's, here's really when you think about it, right? We just create this money. They didn't actually take money from us to send to Ukraine. They just send some money. Oh yeah. They, then they tell us yeah. that they have to take it. And that's just more division. That's to get us to end fight and fight and pay attention to this and not pull them well, the, from the, the castle. The reality is when you, if you really want to, if you really want to think about it, um, you really want to go down a rabbit hole. It's my money. Mm-hmm. It's your money. Yeah, go try it's, to pull your money out of the bank. Go try to pull five grand out of the but bank it's, today. But it's it's all our money, mm-hmm. right? It's all our money. The federal government, really, tomorrow, if I don't know what the deficit, what trillion. Yeah, the Constitution's not your rights. It's yeah. to protect you from the government. But even still, when you think about when you think about like the trillions of dollars that we're in debt, right? It's not real. Mm-hmm. It's not a real thing. The government tomorrow could come out and go. Uh, uh, the dollar is dead. Everybody, go to the bank and get your Hillary bucks. There's no deficit. It doesn't exist. The deficit is there solely to keep the thumb of government on top of you. That's all it is. The only reason why they keep because it's money we owe ourselves. They're not going to pay me any of that money. Right. It's money that we owe ourselves. They keep that thumb on you and keep telling you about. Oh my God, we can't we can't take care of the homeless because you know the. The debt ceiling. Well, they did a study just recently. $20, million or $20 billion will fix homeless in the United States. And we want to give $100 million to Ukraine. Yeah, they don't which want homeless. They, they, they want you want, to see the yeah. homeless. They want you to be yep. upset by the homeless. They want you to be inconvenienced well, by the homeless. You don't want. Here's the other thing. The more important thing that most people don't want to pay attention to is... You don't want to fix that problem. Nope. And the reason they why you can steal too much money from it because they have too many people invested in working those social programs to get money fucking for free. Yep. So it's just, you know, it's, it's a never, it's never winning. It's, you're never going to win. But once, once we, you know, if the, the reality is if the dollar was to really tank um, and people really got uncomfortable, there would be a regime change period. I mean, I hope I hope that the people who win the fight in the end are constitutionalists, and they're like, if it's not in the Constitution, we don't care what you know. We don't care what you think you are owed or what you want. If it's not in the Constitution, fuck off. Um, but usually, that's not the case. Usually, the usually the most angry, the most angry mob wins, and I don't I don't know what that would be here. I really don't. Not anymore. I mean, I would assume that it would be Patriots 20 years ago, but it might not be. Have you seen all the footage coming out from January 6th? Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. It, Did you? So even with that out, right, you see the yeah. you see the cops saying that they were disguised, they were dressing uh-huh. as Antifa, they were pepper spraying and flashbanging, they caused a lot of the yep. instigation, all the shit that was happening, right? Even with that. You know, there's no air marshals up in the air. You know, they've tasked all the air oh, yeah, marshals. Follow around still, who was, yeah. still going after January six people. Yeah, and they're, it's still happening. Yeah, fucking just crazy. Yeah, that's that's your fucking government. They're a fucking shitheads. Yeah, they're they are literally the exact same thing that they tell us we need to overthrow yeah. other governments over. Yeah, they're they are. You know, if if I am sorry, and I know an air marshal. Yeah, I know an air marshal. If you are following around somebody, like, think about when this happened. If you are following somebody around today that they suspected had anything to do with January 6th, you're a fucking Nazi. You're you're goddamn dis- you're Well, it's the same thing. You're fucking secret police. That's all you are. You're secret police. Go you're- back go back a few years ago when those mayors shut down all those small businesses. The mayors weren't out there enforcing that. That was law oh, enforcement yeah. that enforced that. And the, even when law enforcement, some some of the departments were like, we ain't enforcing that. They'd bring in the state. Those mother, somebody still showed up with a fucking gun that was not the dude that fucking signed the piece of paper. Yeah, if you're lucky, you got a good sheriff and the sheriff will. But again, you know, even those guys are getting yeah. old, man. Yeah, I know. I even know. those guys are getting old. All empires fall. You ready to do some uh, Patreon questions? Yeah, let's do Patreon. All right, guys, thanks for uh, jumping on question or uh, pulling the thread. 
podcast here. Thanks Was it only 44 minutes? No, that's where we broke. Oh, Jesus. Um, so we have a Patreon, and uh, you guys ask questions, and we build the video from that. So make sure you join the Patreon. You have a Patreon also for Dog Kennel and Little Spoon. I do have a Patreon. Same thing. He's doing giveaways. We do giveaways over here. Um, so make sure you check out Dog Kennel and, and Little Spoon. Spoon on the YouTube. Uh, very entertaining. You guys can right. deal yeah. directly with uh, Scully there. Um, if you want to help support the show, you guys should cover your electronics with EMP Shield. I have an EMP Shield code. The code is SOE. Gets you $50 off each order at EMP Shield. They have EMP Shields for your vehicles, your side by sides, all of your electronics in your house, your circuits. And if you're one of them dudes that are like, I've never seen an EMP, they cover each circuit that the thing is on up to $20,000 for lightning strike. And we had lightning strike the pole out here that controls my gate chargers, and it fried that system out, and it cost me $1,400. The EMP shield that would have protected it was under $200. And if you guys use our code, code SOE, it will save you $50 even off of that. So check that out, and we will see you guys next time.